one day, one weekend a month, the citizen soldiers prepare to keep the homeland safe. The waterways are the training ground for soldiers across the nation. In this exercise, guard troops on the Gulf Coast are learning water rescue techniques. They also get tips on how to respond to a mass casualty situation like the deadly shooting in San Bernardino. A situation like you had out in California, we would not be the, the, the primary responder. The local law enforcement agencies would do that. Still, Major General Augustus Collins tells us Mississippi Guard troops are constantly honing their skills if they have to deploy here at home. In, in the event of a, of a terrorist attack uh, he, here in Mississippi, uh, the National Guard will be called upon to augment the local law enforcement agencies, whether that be the local the police, the sheriff's department, or the FBI, or any of the federal agencies, and we work really close with them. Uh. The Guard even has a special unit called the 47th Civil Support Team. 22 soldiers and airmen. Uh, that respond to weapons of mass destruction type events. Military police are very well trained in civil disturbances and to augment local law enforcement, and they get a lot of training on that. Citizen soldiers on the front lines protecting the homeland. You will find uh, the best of the best uh, when you talk about the soldiers and airmen of the Mississippi National Guard. Right now, troops with the Mississippi National Guard are preparing for a massive exercise next year in Fort Hood, Texas. For now, we're live in Jackson, Ross Adams, 16 WAPT News. Okay, Ross, thank you.